Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Corsair H55 liquid CPU cooler. Now Corsair has been very successful in expanding their product line from being a well-known memory manufacturer into becoming an award-winning uh, chassis, case and peripheral manufacturer and of course well-known for their line of self-contained liquid cooling systems. The latest addition to their Hydro Series family, the Corsair H55 has some notable improvements compared to the uh, Corsair H50. As you can see there, the pump is noticeably smaller and actually, in according to uh, Corsair's website, it is a quieter liquid CPU cooler. It's not labeled under their high performance part. It's actually uh, titled under a quiet part of their uh, liquid cooling hydro series uh, family. And as you see here, let's start opening uh, the box. You can see what is different in this package. Each package will contain, of course, uh, at the very top, you get the documentation right at the top there. You get the uh, warranty, shoe cards, and RMA information. And you also get uh, some promotional leaflet. And, of course, your fold-out installation guide slash uh, manual shows you the uh, components that come with it and how to install it depending whether you have an AMD or an Intel system. And let's put that aside and take a look at the, the box. See there that it has uh, everything you need in there. You get the mounting kit and the fan. It's a 120 millimeter fan which has a three pin connector. And also the mounting kit in a bag. And of course the entire unit itself. As mentioned, it is self-contained, so it does not require any maintenance at all. So, see there, it has that lower profile pump, it has a 3-pin fan connector, and it has the 120 millimeter radiator, and also it has a pre-applied pre thermal paste underneath and the copper base. And uh, what we should do now is take a closer look at this, take a look at the specifications of the Corsair H55, and also I'm going to show you how to install the Scorcher H55 self-contained liquid cooling solution inside your AMD or Intel system and then we'll check out the performance. Alright, so here we have our Corsair H55 kit laid out in front of us. We have all the accessories here. You have the back plate for the AMD and the retention plate with it as well. It has a corresponding uh, mounting kit for Intel as well with the back plate and the uh, retention mount. You also get the history pins. This is of course for locking it with the LGA 2011 while you get the regular one for locking both AMD and Intel uh, motherboards. You have also the fan mounting screws and part of the kit you have the adhesive backing so you can install the back plate and the locking mechanisms for the uh, the metal ones in this bag are for the back plate while the rest are for mounting the long screws in the front and this is a new accessory this is actually uh, for some reason it is not in the manual i've checked it twice let me just show you the manual right now and you can see that it all the accessories are listed here except for this extra ring here this is actually for helping uh, mount the, uh, the the cooler itself on the retention uh, retention ring is much easier uh, much more secure installation rather than just having the cold plate and the re retention ring rotating in there this holds it in place I will show you that during the installation video and here we have our fan it's a uh, we have seen this fan uh, in other Corsair uh, coolers. This is uh, a fan that's capable of 1700 RPM and actually has an airflow of 57 CFM and uh, approximately the dBA maximum is about 30.32 dBA uh, in terms of fan noise and it can uh, pull about 1.9 millimeters in terms of uh, fan static pressure which is decent for this type of cooler. And here you have the main unit itself, self-contained system, the radiator 
measures 120 millimeters in terms of fan size and it uh, you can fit about this is about 152 millimeters tall and 27 millimeters wide so it's slightly wider than a standard fan which is 25 millimeters and also it is uh, compatible with LGA 2011 as you saw in the mounting kit, uh, LGA 1156, 1155, and 1366. So unfortunately, LGA 775 users are out of luck and you might have uh, want to pick up an older Corsair Hydro Series uh, mounting system if you want to uh, mount an LGA 775. And it also supports all the AMD sockets, AM2, AM3, FM1, FM2 since they are the same dimensions. And as you see here at the bottom, you have a very, very clean polish. I didn't even clean this with any uh, liquid. I just wiped it down with a uh, with a uh, lint-free cloth. And as you can see, it cleans very well. The copper base and a reflective surface. Very nice base compared to uh, other Corsair hydro liquid cooling systems I've seen previously. See also the uh, the hose there, flexible hose, which is a lot better compared to the first generation H50, which had the uh, the plastic ribbed hose. This is a lot more flexible, and while uh, of course performing as uh, Corsair intended as well. So I will. Uh, you can click on the link below. You'll have uh, the installation guide. To install the Corsair H55 inside an AMD or an uh, Intel system and now we are going to go to the rest review checking out the benchmarks and how well the Corsair H55 performs. Alright, there you have it. We got the benchmark results and definitely interesting. Uh, to be honest, I was skeptical at first because uh, usually liquid CPU coolers lag behind uh, air cooler, their air cooler counterparts even though um, the price is almost similar. The Corsair H55 uh, had some uh, unusual results, I must say. The, uh, for the stock performance, it lagged behind even the uh, Cooler Master Hyper 412 PWM. I just throw it out there because it is uh, essentially around uh, $40. It is a single fan um, direct heat pipe cooler. And direct heat pipe uh, heat sinks typically are very good for in terms of uh, price performance ratio. You also have the Hyper 212 Evo, which perform almost similarly at around a lower price range as well. And uh, the result for the stock is that the H55 had the uh, highest temperatures. But once you overclocked, uh, we ran it on the 3770K. I overclocked it with 1.25 V core to 4.5 gigahertz. The Corsair H55 performed spectacularly and just lagged behind the NHD14, uh, which is a, very, uh, as everyone know, is a very beefy uh, air cooler. And that is a very interesting result that the Corsair H55 managed to perform better when you overclock it and it actually uh, performs better when you put pressure on it and uh, also a couple of interesting things other than the benchmark is that the new mounting system uh, is similar to the old uh, ASTEC design but the one big difference is that it has that new retention ring uh, that you put in so that uh, you, you install the uh, retention ring into the uh, the a pump itself before you put it in the back plate compared to the old guide that actually uh, the one confusing thing is that let me just grab the manual here in the manual it doesn't state that it still has the old guide for the uh, as you can see there it has the components it doesn't have uh, it doesn't list the new plastic retention ring that you attach the uh, the metal retention ring and the pump into for convenient installation Definitely simplifies the procedure. You just connect it. You don't need to mount the uh, metal retention ring into the back plate first before you put in the pump. You put in the metal retention ring into the pump directly and then put it in the back plate. Much easier. Also, the the pressure and the, the attachment to your CPU is a lot better compared to uh, twisting it and trying to figure it out and that while uh, while locking it in, as in the old uh, H50 and H70 locking mechanism. 
definitely a huge improvement. I'm surprised it wasn't in the manual because that is a big plus uh, with the Corsair H55 the way uh, uh, HTEC and Corsair has fixed that uh, issue. And uh, as for dislikes, things I don't like about the Corsair H55 is the fact that it's supposed to be a quiet uh, CPU cooler. It says so on their website as a quiet CPU cooler, but unfortunately the fan uh, although it cools very well, it is not a PWM fan and it's not the quietest fan either, even at stock performance. Although it is not terribly loud, but uh, even at stock performance, it's not a, definitely not, I wouldn't classify it as a quiet fan. And interesting to note that uh, retail price for the H55 is $69.99 and the next step up is the Corsair H60, the updated version which is at $79.99, so $10 difference. Uh, in terms of that, the H60 has better cooling performance and better fan, and uh, most people will probably be hard pressed between choosing either the H55 or the H60. Um, also, most people will probably be upgrading the H55 fan to something more quieter, such as the SP120L that was used on the H60 anyway. But either way, uh, the H55 definitely performs uh, very well. Uh, it lags behind on stock performance, but overclocked it. Over, it uh, performs stellarly. It was very good and also the uh, installation is a lot simpler uh, because of the new mounting mechanism which is not documented in the manual and overall uh, I, it still earns a gold award for me so I'm going to give it a High Tech Legion gold award just because the, the uh, installation is a lot simpler improved and the tubing is a lot better It's easy to route uh, the only downside is the fact that the fan is not as quiet as it could be, especially for somebody being touted as a quiet fan. Uh, definitely, if it was a PWM fan, I would have given it an editor's choice. And if the stock performance was a little bit better, I would give it an editor's choice because uh, these new generation coolers are definitely uh, catching up to the uh, beefier air coolers. And uh, that is pretty much it for this Corsair H55 review. And uh, if you have questions or comments, leave it, leave it below. You can uh, thumbs up this video if you like it. And you also have an installation guide, a uh, detailed installation guide, a separate video. Uh, you can find it out if you want to find out how to install the Corsair H35 into your AMD or Intel system. And again, thanks for watching. See you next time.